I would like to, to thank them because you hear a little bit about Dr. Arazi or PhoneGate, and you say, what, what, is, what is this? And uh, it will be the first time, remember this date, it will be the first time in Germany you will hear about PhoneGate, and maybe it will answer some of the questions I hear to George Carlo. Uh, you will see the slide, there is a lot of slide, and all will be available in our website, it's phonegatealert.org. So, Listen to me, and if you need, you will have all the information on our website. Just a few uh, words, because here we have very eminent scientists, very well known, and who is Dr. Arazi? And uh, I am a physician, a French physician, and uh, I'm very aware about uh, the health issue of, uh, as a physician. Since 2004, so I, 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 it's, I, it's not my first time on this uh, subject. And in uh, July 2016, I launched uh, the alert on my blog on what is going to be the phone gate. Uh, and now, since uh, uh, since March 2018. We, uh, with the support of many organizations all over the world, we launched PhoneGate Alert NGO. And uh, the main goal of this uh, new organization is to protect the health of cell phone users and to reveal the scandal of the PhoneGate. And for this, because it's you say, oh, <laughs> it's, a big, uh, it's a big goal. Uh, for this, we have the support of a very important scientific committee with most of the uh, uh, expert, famous experts in the world, all over the world. And uh, it's also with the support, the first support of uh, Professor Debra Davis was the first to see how important is at the international level what is phone gate. So thank you for that. And now, uh, it's, uh, I will talk about that a little after, but we have also an international consortium of attorney and lawyers all over the world. So, Maybe you never heard about PhoneGate in Germany. There is no media who has been talking about it. But, like you can see, in many big media all over the world, you have, maybe I can show you some, uh, you have Le Monde. Here, it's a special uh, report in the national TV in Italy. Here, it's Arte, yeah. Arte in the, uh, the Dutch Arte, the German Arte. Here, it's also uh, a big uh, uh, article in, uh, in Switzerland, in German, in, in Spain, uh, and so on. So I hope, and uh, it's why I'm here, that after my, my coming, we will have now information, because if you don't have information, you, you have nothing. And also, you have misinformation. Uh, so, also with Deborah, the first time she invited me two years ago in Wyoming, in Jackson Hole, uh, to make a scientific, the first scientific uh, uh, conference about phone gate with Professor Anthony Miller, with uh, Annie Sasko, and. We, we, we saw that at this moment that we were with journalists, American journalists invited by, by Deborah, and we saw that it was okay. The, the, we will have uh, press uh, and media in a few, few weeks. Not at all. And I would like really to thanks because now there is very courageous people uh, around us, and I would like to, to thank him because you see Sam Rowe is a Pulitzer journalist, four times nominated to Pulitzer, 
And you see here, the email he sent me to saying that he, he just seen the data we forced French government to release. And he texts to him, it was, this email was from January 2018, and he texts to him nearly two years to be able to, to publish a very big investigation in the Chicago Tribune. And I suppose, like in France, that you didn't hear a word about this important uh, investigation. Did someone, there is someone here who hear about this investigation? Yeah, one. No, not the, the specialist, please, <laughs> but just the public, you know? <laughs> yeah, I have two, two hands there. So you see that most of the people, and most of the people aware about this, pro, this, uh, this issue, you are not informed. So, uh, you can see that now, uh, since more than one year, you have uh, a Wikipedia article in, the, in French with many and many information in the, in the, the Wikipedia. But, uh, you know, the war we have all the time with industry, <laughs> we have it on Wikipedia. So all the time, uh, we have to make the battle everywhere. So, but there is many and many links, many and many information. And in a few months and, or years, you will have PhoneGate in every language. And I would like also to thank, I would like to thank all the people, all the, the support we have, all the people who are making translation all the time. Every day we have a lot of supporters. What we, what we write, everything is, is uh, translated in many and many languages language, and also in German too. So, you want to, to know what is PhoneGate? If I can explain very easily, we have now, now the evidence that we have all been overexposed, much more than the regula regulation permitted it. And uh, if you can compare, you can say that PhoneGate is like Dieselgate, you know? a complete failure in the regulation. But at my opinion, and we will see if I'm right in a few years, I think that phone gate will be 10 times the diesel gate scandal. Okay? Why? Very simple. You have uh, all, all <laughs> the, 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 the manufacturers uh, who are concerned, and you have, on the other side, five billion people using the cell phone. Uh, so, very, very simply, because I, I'm not going to too to, to much detail, uh, world, our planet, because it's an international scanner, it's uh, in two parts, you know. You have one part who are using ICNIRP regulation, and the second part, who are using FCC regulation, uh, the part we are using ICNIR, it's 150 countries in the world. And it's the worst regulation, you know that. But FCC is a little more protective, it's not good at all, it's a little more protective, and you have it in uh, 19, 19 countries. Uh, very, uh, you, you see, you see here, America, Canada, you have also India, you have also Iran, and for uh, the rest of the world, you, all Europe, you are using ICNIRP, and Germany, you are almost concerned. So, you s I was talking about evidence. You say, what is evidence? Because I hear a lot of this term, a lot of time during this uh, conference. Uh, and maybe uh, what, is, what is for me uh, uh, this term, it's a legal evidence. Something we can go and 
put it to a judge and say, okay, you can have a look at this, okay? And all the evidence we have, because the first thing, I, I saw, I read a report, a public report in July 2016. A report of, of our National Agency for Security and Health. A lot of people read this. And what was written in this report? Imagine, nine, nine cell phones out of ten was uh, exceeding the regulation. <laughs> I say, wow. And uh, no, no, no uh, journalist say nothing. So what I do? I take my phone and I say to him, oh, I want the report, you know? It's very easy. So what, what, we, what I discover at this moment, that French government was quite upset about the way we are using our cell phone in a pocket or in a hand, and they have made a, a test report with a agreed laboratory in the complete secret, and they keep it secret. And in this report, we can see that we have all been overexposed by, maybe we have at this time uh, one on, more than, than 100 uh, report. And I just want to see you what is a, a, a legal evidence, is this. And all this, you will see, is public. You have hundred and hundred now because of our, of our battle with all the people uh, supporting Fongate Alert who are now over available publicly in a data, okay? <laughs> and you will find the link, but you, this thing, you know, is the data, INFR, and you have now nearly six, 600 reports. Uh, and also, uh, what, uh, what you have to know, because uh, French government was very upset about what was going on, because the, the way we, we were measuring uh, and making the control, it was at 15 to 25 millimeters of the skin. And you will see <laughs> what happened when you do this. And, for 30 years, because we are not talking about, uh, for 30 years, we have been overexposed with those uh, way to, to measure, to measure, to say that we make measure, uh, and to say that we are protecting people, health of people. It's not good, I think it would be better to have it here. Okay. Uh, so, uh, here is some data that I want to, to, to see with you. Here you have some of the cell phone and the name you, you maybe you have, you had one. Do you have someone who has one of these cell phones in the list? No? No one? Yeah? I see one. Two? You have no cell phone? Ah, oh, yeah. Another one. So, here you have the name of the cell phone. And here you have uh, the, the, uh, the SAR limit tested at the separation distance. At this time, it was 15 to 25 millimeters, okay? And what the French government do, uh, does, it makes the, the measure at zero millimeter at body contact, okay? So you see Polaroid is one. When you put it at, at zero millimeter, it's no more one, it's 7.42. It's, it's worse with the HTC, 0 0.3, 7.12, uh, Blackberry, and so on, okay? Remember a little Apple iPhone set, I will come back on iPhone set, okay? So, we were talking about uh, the revelation of uh, the investigation of Sam Rowe uh, from the Chicago Tribune. What he has done, he has done the same that uh, uh, the, the French National Agency, but with independent laboratory. 
he went into the the, the cell uh, uh, the cell shop, uh, the cell phone shop, and he take iPhone set, iPhone 8, Galaxy S8, uh, Motorola, the most popular cell phone uh, sold in US. Okay, and first surprise, you remember iPhone set uh, here? You have three iPhone set. No one is uh, in the regulation. You know, regulation in the United States is 1.6. It's less than in, in Europe. But if you see that, no one is, is completed the, the regulation of FCC. 2.5, 2.8, 2.5. Wow. You take a, a cell phone and, uh, like this, and it's not uh, co complaining the regulation? Oh. And that's at five millimeters, you know? You see that? Blue, five millimeters. What he did? He did less than we did in France. He said we are going to test it at two millimeters, like you have it in your pocket, okay? And you will imagine the surprise. You, you see that is the, the measure at five. This is the measure at two millimeters. For, for three millimeters of distance, our exposure is three times more. And we are not like, we, you know, when we have it in a hand at zero millimeters, you imagine where is it here, okay? And you have the same here with the Galaxy S8 because you see it was nearly the regulation, the FCC regulation, but when you use it, uh, at two millimeters, the S suite. You are, someone has a, a suite here? No? Yeah. So you know that uh, if you have it in a pocket, the real uh, <laughs> SAR, it's 8.22. And this, and it's a, a point important, it's American regulation. Okay? We will see what's going on with European regulation. So, here you have the same, uh, the same data. Uh, we, we take just a few, but you have uh, 100 and 100 of this data. Uh, here, you see the same, but what you have to understand, we, uh, FCC used to uh, expose, to make the control on an exposition on one gram of tissue. And Europe, what we are doing, it's to, to do the same, but on 10 gram of tissue. Say, so, oh, it's uh, nothing. It's not nothing, because we, we were very conservative. And you see that here, at zero millimeters, it's seven. We say it is two times, but it's two, uh, two more than, more than uh, like that, three times. So we say it is 14. But now, with the last uh, paper on EU from Professor Om Gandhi, uh, we know that it's 21. 21, one by kilo. Ten times more that, that what is a load for the respect of, of our health. And if you see that, if you see this one, it's uh, nearly uh, 21. It's how many times? Uh, Maybe uh, 60, so you know, 17 times, yeah, so 70 times uh, the level announced by, by the manufacturer. You imagine? Oh, I see that you are completely <laughs> astonished by the data you, you, do, you don't uh, realize. Uh, so, it's not uh, only all. I, I'm not going to, to talk about all the indicator, but uh, all the regulation is like this. What they have done, they use, for example, to expose for six minutes. Six minutes? Who is using six minutes when you have it in a pocket? Maybe you can uh, put it for one hour, two hours. Sometimes there is people, they have all the time the, the, the cell phone at the hand on the pocket. Six minutes. And there is a difference with FCC for extremities. They use, also, they, they, they use uh, 
for, 20, for 30 minutes. The, the, the test is on 30 minutes. So you see, five times more, it's, it's clearly not sufficient. But you have to understand that those uh, way we control our cell phone are completely, excuse, excuse me, but I would say that in English it's bullshit, okay? Thanks for that. Uh, so, here, you can see, but you, you have many of, of uh, the expert, uh, very important expert present, to say that we have much more problem with children. We have to be aware, because for adults, it's a problem, because we have all been overexposed. But for children, the problem is much higher. So, we have really to, to understand what is going on with the phone gate. So, we will take a few, a few time, because uh, I don't want to, you to read, uh, but I would like you to read what, after the revelation of our national agency, what the D director general, general director, wrote as a recommendation. What he say? Reevaluate the pertinence of the specific absorption rate used in the establishment of limit values of exposure of people for means of protection against known and proven health effect, thermal effects of radio frequency. First. Second, develop a measurement representative of the actual exposure of user of mobile phones, no matter what the condition of use, signal use, good or bad reception, type of use, call, loading of data, etc. And to finish, and very important, ensure in all circumstances the respect of regulatory limit values of exposure, no matter what type of emitting devices are used and their condition of use, and read this positioning in contact with the body at zero millimeters, okay? And do you think uh, French authority say something about that? They do not. What I want to say that uh, we know because of the uh, legal battle that uh, they were very courageous to publish the data because normally no one uh, has to see those data. If they did not put in the, in the report, it was 10 lines and we will never hear about what's going on with uh, the overexposure, you imagine? So we can thank uh, answers. I think they were really courageous for that. So there is not just answers who is very courageous. We can also talk about what uh, what's going on in US because the Health Department of California make very important recommendation in December 2017. Did you hear about it? No. Yeah, maybe we have to question the way the media is using the, the information. Huh? But what they say, they say two things very important, keeping the phone away from the body, but they say also something much more important Removing headset when not on a call. Wow. All the, the industry say, use headset. Public authorities say, use headset. And <laughs> the, the, the California Health Department say, don't use headset. Why? Because it concentrates the waves into the, uh, the, the here. Okay? Yeah, yeah, we're not on a call. That's what, it, what does it mean? Because, uh, yeah, I understand your, your position. I will explain. Because now most of the, the young people and most of us, they are, we are using the cell phone when uh, not ju just for calling, just for call, but also to watch a TV, 
to watch a film, to, to uh, listen music. And during all this time, people are overexposed. And if you are in a, a train or in a railway, it's, it's terrible because you will have the, 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 SAR, the war SAR at a moment you, you use it for listening music, like we see in the metro in Paris all the time. And uh, that's why, because many uh, American scientists from, uh, from uh, California uh, are very upset about that and made, uh, they are making a lot of study. But those study, you, you don't hear about it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, now with uh, our organization who are supporting us, we, we, uh, we had many data. We, we say, uh, with uh, Professor Debra Davis, we wrote to, uh, officially to the FCC. I was thinking that the revelation of all those data will be uh, been taken seriously by a national agency, an American national agency. I was very proud to, to sign this letter with, uh, with Deborah. What do you think they have done? Nothing, no answer at all. Oh, you, you, you make an official uh, information? They didn't take a time, you know, it's, something so important that if they write, what, what I want to say, that if they write something now, uh, you know, they have 10 lawyers behind them. You, you imagine? Because everything, they are right, and we, we, we have another thing, legal action in France. Some of those people are going to, to go to jail. You understand what, what, we, are, what we are talking? Uh, so, what, we, th what they do, they do to try to say nothing. So, we have to make a lot of noise without media to make all this understanding by, by the most people. And I'm here in front of you to, to tell you to help us because we try to help you, but we, we need also you to help us. And yeah, this, I, I like this slide. History being written, and you will see why. Uh, maybe we'll see why when I will push it, okay. Oh, <laughs> you see what is written there? Now, in France, with, uh, under the pressure of our action, we are withdrawing the cell phone. In April 2018, the first one, it was 100,000 who has been draw the first time with uh, orange apitri. You have three other. The last one was uh, prohibited in July, but it was not the last one. I, I didn't have time to, to, to write it on my slide, but on Friday, uh, French authority prohibited a new one uh, and for the first time, there was a financial penalty. Penalty, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and it is the, I, I will say that, it is the Echo Horizon Light from uh, the Modilab mobile manufacturer. You don't applause for them. <laughs> so, so, so uh, and now, you see that we obtained that uh, 17, uh, uh, we have now 17, 18 with the, the last one, cell phone was being withdraw or, pro or prohibited or update. And you have here the list of uh, Huawei, uh, you see, maybe uh, is someone did use a Huawei on our eight? Yeah, there is someone in the list here, no? No one? Yeah, yeah, I see. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> do you have the same in Germany? 
Did you hear that uh, there is, because they are, they are sold in Germany, they are sold in your, all Europe. Do you think that you have been informed? No. So why I am here, uh, and I would like also to really to thank uh, Professor Buschner, because uh, uh, with uh, two other uh, deputy of, uh, of the parliament, uh, European parliament, he, he invited me on, on Tuesday to make a special appeal uh, for all European country, and thank you, uh, Professor, for this. And I appreciate. Uh, I see that you, you were there for three days, and you're, you're a very courageous politician. I would like to, to thank you, and we would like to thank Professor Bishop. But now what we, what we need, and you are going to, 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 to take the battle uh, to, to make, to, to ask why your, your regulator, you know, oh yeah, I, I just a, a little joke, uh, because uh, there is so many things. We wrote to your re regulator, uh, and uh, officially to explain this, say what was going on in France. And I was <laughs> saying that to Professor Buchner, he say, oh, what, what do you think they have done? Because uh, I'm not sure you, you know that you have a very you you had a very important uh, database of SAR limit. You, you knew that you have a special database from Germany. Do you have some people here who know that? No. Yeah. So what what uh, what have they have done? They, they answer us. But they put out all, nearly all the data. There was 3,000 data of all the cell phones sold in Europe, you know, in Germany and in Europe. So it was very important for our action because we could see all uh, the, the cell phone has been uh, sold. And for that, it's very important for the local action. And the first thing they've done is to put it away from the WhatsApp. No, you have 100 data. Wow. Uh, no commentary? <laughs> so. Oh, just to say that now the movement is going on, and you have the first uh, uh, cell phone OC was withdrawn from Canada. It's uh, an Alcatel. And you, you see uh, that. The term bankruptcy, uh, I think it's not enough. You know, uh, with all the evidence we have, and we are just show, showing, show, showing you a very small part, because in the action we are doing, we keep some information, not public, because what we want when we come and speak to you, that you have uh, all the information from uh, national or very important data. I think it's very important in, in this battle because there is a lot of things can be said on this subject and, and so uh, uh, wrong things. So what we do, we make the action and after we put it uh, public. I think it's better and uh, we were talking with George about strategy. You were talking with George about strategy. I think the good strategy it's always to be very attentive about the information and the quality of information, of the serious of the information. And there you had very, very good expert and very good information. So please be very, very uh, attentive to this because it's journalists, they, what they've done now, they are using some people very excited and they use it against us. So if you see on the uh, Facebook and uh, social media people, very exciting. You have to understand that we have to be very careful on the way we are talking about this global issue. So, <laughs> Devra, you are a star. <laughs> so, I was, it was very important because uh, uh, the... Uh, in June 2018, with Devra, which was coming in Paris, 
and with Dr. Anisasco, with the uh, famous uh, scientist in France, we launch an appeal. And what we, what we say that we have to, uh, <laughs> to remove millions of cell phones, hundreds of millions of cell phones who are exceeded much more uh, the, the level. And uh, so what you imagine, we have uh, also the second, because there is the, the cell phone you can buy uh, in, uh, now, but you have also million, hundreds of millions of cell phones, all cell phones, with very problematic uh, uh, SAR limit. So one first advice, don't buy those cell phones because they are very, very bad SAR limit at this moment. Maybe if they can do something and if there is a regulation, but there is no uh, European regulation and there is no international regulation on this issue, and it's very important because most of the time we have a very nice uh, cell phone, we give it to our child. And it's the child who had now the, the worst cell phone. So very, be very careful about that. So, oh, I like this slide because uh, sometimes I can send message to some of uh, those manufacturers. I'm quite, uh, because Samsung, all this uh, advertising is to say, we are the best, we have the best SAR limit. And here you can see that they have the worst. And uh, you don't have the number, it's 34 uh, cell phones. Uh, who has been tested by our national agency, so they, they can't say nothing, you know? And you can see the difference of, with advertising and the reality of the exposure. Oh, it's the same for most of the cell phones, and Apple is not, not good at all, but they, there is a few iPhones. So it's why it's here, but it should be near Samsung, you understand? Uh, so, you see, for all the, for all the, this are, for all the, the data we have, some of the cell phones, there is a lot of, they are all there, but we are not going to put all the, the data on this, uh, on this presentation. Oh, <laughs> I was t talking about that at uh, the European Parliament. When, when, you la when we launched the phone gate scandal, what, have, what, the, uh, what they have done, the European Commission? You think, you know, maybe you think I'm crazy. What they've done? They decide to keep completely secret until, uh, here, you, you have the date, J 12 June 2018. You know, it's really recent. All the information, about the problem with cell phone and health. And now, in the Article 5, Alinea 4, you know, it's Article 5 of the Directive, European Directive, 2014-53 U. And in the fourth, what is written here? The Commission shall make available a central system allowing manufacturers to register the record information that system shall ensure appropriate control of access to information of confidential nature. And what is the confidential nature? You have it, the response here. Shall register radio equipment tips within category of radio equipment affected by a low level of compliance with the essential requirements set up in Article 3. And what is Article 3? It's uh, human health and animal health. Very good. That's what is written in the European Directive. And it's not like this. I could stay one hour to, to explain you what, what is the problem with this directive. Just another example. What they've done during the, the, the phone gate, 
they say to the manufacturer now, they can put all the cell phones they want just with an internal control of the manufacturer. You hear, a manufacturer now can put all you want without doing nothing, just saying that he, he is okay with his control intern, internal control. In the way we are launching the phone gate scandal and see that they, are, they have uh, decept all the world, all the users, and now <laughs> they can do like this? I, I say that because you're, you're, <laughs> you're, you're, you're here, but I know that you completely disagree with this, but sorry, I have to explain what's, what's going on. I, I know that you're, 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 you're okay with me. Uh, and, uh, I have plenty of... Uh, so, I will go very, uh, because uh, they say time, as you show, uh, very important thing, when, you, when, when media talk about uh, is, it, uh, is it a risk or not, what you have to, to have in mind, and maybe it's one of the most important messages today, uh, you, there is clearly a scientist, scientist consensus about the thermal effect. So when you speak about that, they say non-thermal effect, we, we, are, we are not sure, but they say we are not sure globally. But with our regulation, our regulation is done on thermal effects. And thermal effects, it's, uh, there is a, a clear scientist uh, consensus on this, uh, on this uh, uh, issue. So you, you use it when you talk with people because you say, yeah, there is no, it's not sure. It's non-thermal, it's not sure. But thermal, uh, it's, uh, it's clear. We have this evidence. I'm going to, for non-thermal effects, uh, you have a lot of information. Uh, I'm not going to t talk about NTP. Yeah, one, one uh, very important because I know that there is people suffering of electro hypersensitivity with uh, many scientists and Professor Belpom here in, from France, we are, uh, what we have to do now, that we know that we have uh, overexposed in an acute way and chronic way for many years people, we will have to launch a study because we, we can see that we find maybe one of the reasons of the appearance of the, of the electro hypersensitivity in, in people. So it's very important. Fungate is going to change everything in the comprehension of we have of, uh, of this issue, uh, health issue. Well, you, you understand that there is uh, many emergency for public authorities, that's clear. Uh, you, you know that, uh, Cleo, also about not to use uh, now uh, a cell phone near, near your body. That's the most important, legal battle. And now, <laughs> you see, uh, we launch, because we, we wait, first of all, all the lawyers and uh, the attorney who are working for, for, with us are for free, okay? Okay? So you can applaud them. They are not there, but uh, they will appreciate. Because at this moment, our organization, we have no funds. So everyone is, is working. We have many supporters all over the world, and it's why we, we can progress at this moment. So what, what we have been doing, we have now two criminal actions in France, okay? One in April, one in, uh, in June. One in Paris, one in Lyon, against Xiaomi, the manufacturer, and against... Uh, HMD Global Oil from F Finland with Nokia, okay? And at this moment, we, we, because in France, three months after, you know if they are going to open uh, uh, an investigation. At this moment, we have no answer. But we launched criminal action. It's something that 600 pages of uh, incrimination, 
okay? Uh, and yeah, and just after the, the revelation of uh, Chicago Tribune, the day before, the first clash action was launched in the United States. The day after. And now, <laughs> nearly every day, there is a new class action. There is all the, <laughs> the, the lawyers now who are working on this. Uh, there is four class action now in the uh, in United States. There is also a class action in Montreal. One month, we imagine. You imagine in three months, in six months, and we are working with lawyers of everywhere, and we hope that we will have also German uh, lawyers to, to, to come, because what we are doing is very important. We are all consumers. We have this, uh, most of the people on the planet, they, they, they think as consumers, and they don't like to be uh, deceived. We are addicts, and I talk with a lot of people here and say, oh, there is addiction. There is addiction, but there is also uh, a way to consume safely. And I think that most of the people, when they will be informed, they will come on this uh, action. <laughs> and the proof uh, we have now, uh, without any media in France, uh, with a big uh, problem with the media, 100 people in the first, uh, in the first class action. So you can see 100, but in a few times we will be 10,000, and in a few times we will be 10 millions. So what we need is to, to inform people about the, the exposure, and that's the main problem, and that's why uh, I can thank all the organizers uh, organizer to be here in Germany. Yeah. And maybe some of you hear about what's going on also in, in, in Italy, and this historical uh, uh, action and judgment. Uh, Stefano Bertone, who is uh, lawyers, who is one of the consortium, win a very big battle against the, the Italian government. And what they obtain is to have a, a very important uh, action to, of prevention and information of the danger of the cell phone. And do you know how he obtained this? With the data of the phone gate. And uh, this data now, can be used by all the people. They are public. You can use it separately in each government and the proof that it can uh, work. In January 2019, uh, we obtained this historical decision. So, because I, I didn't say a word about 5G, but I would like you <laughs> to read what I say, the phone gate scandal is the absolute weapon against the development of 5G. Why? Because now we can prove that they are liars, they have uh, deceived all of us, and uh, you can say that you can make uh, confidence in the manufacturer who has done what I've just shown you. Uh, I, I, what is your, your answer? You say you can, we can answer yes. No, we, we can't. So many journalists now uh, are following, following us. Uh, many journalists and very courageous ones because, you know, pressure everywhere. And journalists and uh, politics and scientists. And, uh, but uh, what we need to understand uh, with this issue that... Uh, we need courage. You, 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 all the people, I know because I, I say to you here, I know that you are courageous, you are here. But you have to, we have to transmit this to, to the other, okay? A word of, uh, a word of conclusion. Uh, we are very close, France and Germany. Uh, since uh, we create uh, 
Europe together. So, <laughs> what, what I would like, I uh, appreciate that we could lead this action in, our, in Europe together. Thank you.